day. I'm Superintendent John Barry, and I want you to know that I'm really proud of the great things that you have done this past year. Many of you took the CSAP test last year and worked really hard on it, and I look forward to seeing all of you improving your scores even better this year. As many of you know, it soon will be time to take the CSAP test again. Many of you have been taking CSAP tests since the third grade, and I thank you for all the hard work that you have done to improve your scores every year. If you are in 10th grade this year, you'll be taking the CSAP test for the very last time and then move on to ACT. You may be wondering why you take the CSAP test. Of course, the state of Colorado requires you to take the test. It's just one way for you to show your teachers, your parents, and the entire state of Colorado how much you have learned in reading, writing, math, and science this year. Now, based on how you do on CSAP, your teachers next year will look over your scores and will make plans to help you do better in school even better than you are doing now. The CSAP also helps to prepare for the next important phase in your life as a young adult, college. The knowledge and skills you need to be, do well in CSAP are the same ones that it will build upon as you learn to succeed in college or university or community college. And taking the CSAP prepares you for the kind of critical thinking and clear communicating that you will need not only in college or in careers, but in all aspects of your life as an adult. Now, I want to appeal to you as young adults and appeal to your sense of community because as we perform on our CSEP tests, that information goes out to the community and it also reflects on the whole community insofar as new businesses coming into Aurora, new job opportunities coming into Aurora, and demonstrating how much you have learned and how good our system is. So I want you to think about that insofar as job opportunities for yourself as you grow up and go on into the workforce, certainly from the standpoint of your families. It's my appeal to you to take this CSAP seriously because it does have an impact on all of us. So what can you do to uh, get ready for the CSAP? Certainly from the standpoint of being sure to get plenty of rest each night before the test, Maybe go to bed an hour earlier. I know that's asking a lot than you usually do. I know you don't necessarily want to do that, but it's an idea that I'd like you to think about as young adults. Be sure to eat a good breakfast in the morning before each test. This will give your body and your brain the fuel you need to do well on the CSAP test. Do your best on each and every question. If you get stuck, don't stay on that same question. Go on to the next question and then come back to that question after you have answered all the others. And now, Let's hear from some of your fellow students on how they're getting ready to take the CSAP test. To prefer to CSAP, I usually study a lot. I like look back at my notes, my old notes, and I just read them over and make sure I know them good enough for me to like remember them for the CSAP test. Usually I'll skip a question and then I'll go back to it later because I'll answer all the easiest questions first and then spend my time on the more challenging ones. Review everything you've learned throughout the year because it will come in handy. Sleep well. Take your time, answer the questions you know first, and then go back and answer the questions you're shaky on. Remember, this is your chance to shine for yourself, your teachers, for your parents, and for all of us in Aurora Public Schools and the community of Aurora. It also prepares you for the next great phase in your life as we get ready to have the option to go to college and careers. Thank you, and good luck.